OpenAI's ChatGPT plugin store has some cool new stock analysis plugins, and we're gonna go over one of them called AI Ticker Chat. So once you're in ChatGPT, you're gonna make sure you're on GPT-4 and you have your plugins beta activated. You could activate it in the settings on the bottom left if you don't have it already. Go to plugin store right here in the top middle, and then we're gonna go to, I believe this was one of the newer ones, so we're gonna go to new, and they don't really have a search feature, which is kind of annoying, but there's really not too many right now. There's about 120 of them. So we're just gonna go through, and you could also have an overview of all the different ones that they have available. They're really making them for every single use case. You even have Zillow on there, um, Redfin, Plan Fit for the fitness. And this, the one that we're looking for today is called AI Ticker Chat. So I just had it a second ago. Let me just go and download it. And they're all free right now, which is kind of nice as well. Here we go. So AI Ticker Chat, we're gonna click Install and it retrieves USA stock insights from SEC filings, as well as earnings call transcripts. So in the top middle over here, we're gonna make sure it's activated. And then we're gonna say, how can I best use AI ticker chat for stock analysis? So what I realized with these plugins, the best way to really get the bang for the buck with them, because there's not a lot of information about it, just ask ChatGPT, hey, what's the best way to use this plugin? You know, What are some good effective use cases? So now they're telling us you can use it for company financials, so any SEC filings, 10K, 10Q reports, it'll figure those out and try to find the answer to your question by going through all of those. Earnings call transcripts, it goes through historical stock prices, company news and events, comparative analysis, sector and industry analysis. Okay, so let's say, we're gonna ask it about Netflix. Let's say, give me a summary of NFLX, Netflix, in 2023 and what their progress is like. Okay, so we're just gonna ask it like a normal question, kind of like you would ask like your financial advisor or honestly ask Google, but this should be a lot faster because it can go through everything immediately for you and it's free, so I would definitely give it a shot. So let's see what happens. Now it's using the plugin and it says use AI ticker chat. Here's a summary of Netflix's progress in 2023 based on the information retrieved. Leadership, the company is led by co-chief executive officers, Ted Sarandos and Greg Peters, along with chief accounting officer, Jeff Karbowski. Performance, they've had a strong start to 2023, according to the CEO. It's one of the leading streaming services. You know, we all know this content so it gives you a cool little overview especially if you're looking at some new stocks or maybe you see some something in the news this stock's up 13 percent you know what's going on over here jump into ai ticker chat you could ask it really fast hey you know what's the deal with this stock and then you could kind of figure out like a basic overview and then you could think okay do i care do i not care is this something i'm interested in is this something that is totally irrelevant for my portfolio and then it says membership they have over 232 paid members subscribers um, content, high quality content, financials. Okay, let's say how were the earnings and how much profit do they make? Okay, so now we're just trying to get an overview if it can give us specifics on exactly what kind of numbers came out most recently versus the past. So now it's using AI ticker chat again, and it goes pretty quickly. I mean, it's, it's only in a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds to really get us back the answers, which is kind of nice. So revenues, the total revenues for the first quarter of 2023 were 8,161,503,000, an increase from the same period in 2022. The increases in revenues are due to 4% growth in average paying memberships, partially offset by a 1% decrease in average monthly revenue per paying membership. So it gives us some interesting thoughts. You know, if, if you're really diving into all this material, sometimes it gets extremely boring if you're reading these 50 page reports or listening to these earnings call, but hopefully this can just highlight relevant information for you and then you could use that to really construct your buy positions or your sell positions or whatever you want to do it also gives us the earnings per share net income operating income and revenues so that's our overview of ai ticker chat this is ai with oliver we're doing a whole plugin series where we deep dive into every little plugin that just got released on chat gpt right now there's about 120 of them two days ago there was 70 of them we're predicting there's going to be thousands by the end of the year so please stay tuned for our series thanks for watching this one if you guys have any cool ideas or topics you want me to cover please let me know in the comments. Thank you.